So today what I want to show you is this very cool new search API launched by Firecrawl. I've used Firecrawl before for some of my agentic applications. Whenever I need to use search, Firecrawl is one of those tools that I use. Typically when you're building an agentic system, you would use some form of web search if you want your agent to be able to have access to real-time information from the web. There are many ways how you can extract information from the web. It really depends on your requirements. So for instance, one way how you can extract information from the web is by doing a standard search and you have the API return a bunch of links or a bunch of sources. Another type of search that you may be interested in doing is crawling information from the web if you have a couple of sources to crawl from. What if there is a tool that combines both of these functionalities? What this means is that you will be able to do search and crawl web pages at the same time in one go. Firecrawl has just announced search that enables you to search for information, crawl information in a very convenient way with one API call. So what I've developed here is a simple NN10 workflow that leverages this agent node, which has access to a model. The model that I'm using here is Gemini 2.5 Pro Preview. This model is great for reasoning capabilities and so forth. And I'm using Open Router to get access to this model. You can use whichever of the more capable models as part of this workflow. The better the model is at understanding diverse types of information, the better the results are going to be. And the reason for that is because what we're trying to do here with this fire crawl search tool is gather information, provide that information as part of the context for the agent so that the agent can then summarize or answer a specific query that the user has posted. I'm going to show you now what this workflow does. Quite powerful and it's quite basic as you can see. I'm going to copy this query and then I'm going to paste it down here. So this is my test query. What are the latest releases from OpenAI, Anthropic, and Gemini? The model has static knowledge, so it's not aware of the latest releases. However, it does have access to this Firecrawl search tool. And this Firecrawl search tool is going to do both search and crawl for information and is going to provide it as context for the agent. Let me run this example and then I'll show you what happens behind the scenes. You can see here that the agent is calling the model, the agent calls the tool, and the tool here is going to be Firecrawl search. We're going to look into what exactly happened with this Firecrawl search and we're going to look at the response as well. Again, this is super convenient because all you need to do is just do one API request. As you can see, it's one API call to Firecrawl search and all the information is now there. This is super powerful. As you know, agentic systems will only work if you provide them enough context and the relevant context. So it's important that the search API that you're using produces excellent results that you can provide the agent. So let's look at the quality of that result first, and then let's look at what the agent does with that information. Let's look at the actual request here. So we can go here and look at what Firecrawl actually returns. So I'm just going to extend this a bit. You can see that the Firecrawl search returned this information. So it has information about Cloud4 right here. Then it has more information, Cloud4 models. And you can see how this search API returns a bunch of links as well. You can do more with these links. But what it has done is it's crawling for information and it has returned it in Markdown format. This is super convenient. A lot of you may already know this, that Markdown is a really good format when you're working with these agentic systems. And so Firecrawl already provides this option for you to specify what format you want that output to be in. So once those websites are crawled, you specify what format you want that in. And this is very convenient because now I could just tell it, I want Markdown. That is passed now to the agent. So here are just the examples that I was talking about. Let me see if I can find some other examples. So you can see that this one is talking about Gemini 2.5 Pro. And then there is some O3 information there too, more about Cloud4, and it goes on and on. If you want the full view of the HTTP request here that we did to Firecrawl Search API, well, you can go and check that as well. So you can go into executions, then you can go into the execution itself. So this one is loading. And this is a good way to inspect the results that you're getting from the HTTP request. So you can go to the HTTP request now, and here you go, you have the results. So this one, again, is in a nice format here. You can see that it has title, description, URL, markdown. Again, you can see the different sources that were returned by the API. Here you go, here's another one, and so on. So here I'm not showing you how you might go about improving the search queries that are going to the API call. 
That's something that you can improve if you continue to work on this deep research agent. Also, it might help to plan the search before you do the request to the API. I'm not doing any of that. I'm just showing you bare bones what a simple agentic workflow combined with a proper search API can do and how powerful it is when you get the right context, when you can get the right information for the agent to answer the user query. And this is the power of this search API that is providing you real-time information and relevant information to whatever you are searching. So let's look at the final response. I lost the final response here from the chat for some reason. But anyways, I can see the output here. So here's the output. It says, and it's an exciting time for AI and the major players. Here are the updates from Anthropic. So this one is about Cloud4. You can see the date there. And then this one is more about Cloud4, Cloud Summit, right? It's providing you information here. And then it has some citation. This one is pointing to different links that it's citing. This format here that I'm using is because if you look at my system prompt here, I need to improve it. Basically, what I force it to do is to cite the sources, right? Because it has a lot of these sources now, and so it should cite like this. But actually, it's using citation, explicit citation here. So maybe I can improve this by telling it, well, give the citation a proper name or source and then use the URL. So that's something that I can improve. But that doesn't matter too much here. And it goes on and on. And then it says, OK, Google. So we have from Google Gemini 2.5 Pro preview and so on. And then it has the IO developer conference mentioned here. There's a version of that to here. Then OpenAI, obviously, there was O3, GBD 4.1, GBD 4.5, and so forth. And then there was also an acquisition of IO with John Ive. And so all of that is incorporated here. You can see that the model is doing an excellent job at picking up the right results. Overall, this is a very simple agentic workflow, but why I'm excited about this search API capability from Firecrawl is that it makes it more convenient in the sense that you do the search on the crawling at the same time, and then you can specify the format. You can also specify other things. So I want to call that out here. When we did this HTTP request, we provided the query, obviously, that's coming from the model. We're providing the limit as well, how much results we wanted returned. So this, in this case, is five. The language is English. You can provide the country as well as part of the API request. This is super useful if you want to scope the results to a specific region or country. And then you have these options of scraping information. You can scrape the links if the links are helpful for like citation stuff. And this, I think, is the exciting part of this new search API from Firecrawl that you can do this in one shot conveniently. This is an excellent tool for developers. I hope this short demo encourages developers to go and test it out. It's available now. I'll share more links below on how to get started. I will also share the N10 template for you to go try it out.